Rosis technology to produce 100 kilolitres of drinking water per day. It's situated at Witsand in the Hesedka municipality in the Western Cape. Witsand is a small fishing community located more than three hours from Cape Town. The local population amounts to a mere 300, but during the peak tourist season, over 4,000 travellers descend on the village. This puts extreme pressure on its water grid. The provincial government recognised the challenge and partnered with the French government to provide the fishing village with its daily water requirements. The funding model is quite simple. There's a 9 million rand project. Half of it will come from the Western Cape government and half will come from the French government. But there will also be uh, some contributions of the Hesekwa municipality. I have recently visited that particular site to see and ask some technical questions about this particular project. And I am certain that through this partnership, we will be able to fund this project. The solar-powered desalination plant will be located on a site of roughly 800 square meters. It's expected to start producing clean drinking water by next year using French Osmosun technology. This project here could be, we're sure about that, a project who could be replicable everywhere in South Africa and maybe everywhere in the world because it's very novator. So it's why France spent quite a lot of money to help the province, the city, to develop these projects, to have this demonstration, because the solution for the future is innovation. With a 72.5 kilowatt peak, the plant is expected to run completely on solar-powered energy, but will tap into the power grid during the busy tourist season. The technology can also be used to desalinate borehole water in water-scarce inland areas. Vanessa Puna, SABC News, Cape Town.